So, Boa, why Jesus? Um, I think I've always been a fan of, of the underdog. I think my story starts with me being the ultimate underdog. I'm um, growing up in Pochestrum, <clears throat> having to go through having to go through lots of uh, typical teenage problems. But we had lots of um, financial issues when when I grew up. We we had to move a lot. We moved. In, I lived in like 17 different houses when I was when I was a school kid. So every year almost I had to move or move twice. So it was very. It was never like a stable time in growing up, and it's also the worst time for a kid to figure out who you are. So my story started off being super broken and super insecure and not knowing who I am because I don't really I don't really have a home which like the whole time felt felt to me like I don't belong anywhere because as soon as I started to feel like this is where I belong we had to move the whole time. So it kind of played a massive part in me not belonging anywhere and um, feeling like the ultimate underdog because everyone around me uh, came across as they had it together and I was like I didn't have it together. So. Um, I think that yeah, the thing that inspires me about Jesus is like he he used like underdogs. Like the twelve disciples were like the biggest underdogs of their time. They were like the most dirty um, guys, and they swore a lot, and they were they were just like pirate kind of guys. Like they were very raw and very um, they weren't afgewerk. It's the Afrikaans word. They were just like super broken guys, and and, and the, the way the world works is everything is about being perfect, and everything is about being pretty and sexy and, every, and especially music it's, or music and arts it's all about perfectionism and which is totally opposite about how Jesus operated and if you look at how the world operates today like the biggest people on Twitter and Facebook and whatever Tumblr and all the artists and celebrities like they, they have thousands and thousands of followers millions but if they die like they they don't leave us with anything they leave us with a catchy chorus or they leave us with a cool movie or they leave us with a uh, record they broke in athlete and um, athletics um, no one no one is leaving us with something in our hearts and and that fascinates me about Jesus like he was a guy that made um, he made chairs he was a carpenter and he didn't have thought like, he didn't have like budgets marketing budgets and a cool marketing campaign to market these chairs whatever he was just this guy that, that did stuff different and he was the ultimate underdog and his ministry was actually just like actually three years like we started when it was like 30 but it just shows you how profound his ways were um, by being a carpenter and changing the world. And we have it the wrong way. Like we aspire for like fame and riches and all those things that you think are going to change the world. But the cashy course will never change the world. Like people will just change the world. So for me, it's it's about Jesus chose me because I'm like the broken outcast. And I think that is the way I see Jesus when he was a human. It's like he was the guy that was um, just a little bit left field.